Welcome back, Burnout Teachers. Today's lesson will be about international teaching programs. Summer of 2012, I went to Lebanon and taught in a Palestinian refugee camp, Shatila Refugee Camp in Beirut, Lebanon. And I went through a program called LEAP. Living in a refugee camp is a very, very eye-opening experience because you're able to connect with your kids in a completely different way when you're living their daily reality and you understand their plight and the way that they're suffering under circumstances that are completely unjust. Having that experience in Lebanon and just really like you can't really take things for granted because education takes a completely different dimension when you're working with a refugee population that has been expelled from their land, but also when you're in a refugee camp where the, the state itself is not recognizing these this community as human and are denying them any type of resources, let alone access to quality education. I know a lot of teachers are just so burnt out um, during the year that the summer is just their time to relax. And I think that there's ways that um, you can do summer teaching programs in a way that it enables you to travel and explore a new place and at the same time um, continue your teaching practice. This experience in Lebanon was not so much tax physically taxing because of the responsibilities as a teacher. I would say it was more just like having this new experience and being exposed to like a ra reality of injustice. Um, if you're not so much in the camp of wanting to do something so like intense, especially in the summer when you want more of a break, there are a variety of um, teaching programs that you can do. I came here to Morocco um, to teach in a music school here. So there's many ways that you can connect with schools internationally, even independently, and you know make your own hours and tell them exactly when you want to work and volunteer, and then just stay in um, in the country and explore on the hours that you're not working. I think that's really a great option. And I know a lot of people who you know teach English abroad or just teach abroad in general. It's usually if they have like a contract with a school or if they've gotten the TEPL certificate and stuff. But I really think that there are so many ways that you can really create what you want. So for example, um, if you, let's say, desire to go travel to Thailand, for example, just look up and connect with educators in Thailand and see if you can come and volunteer teach at a school. I always think that volunteer teaching is like a really important thing as a first step because people are really willing to be accommodating to your needs when you're volunteering. You can also create your own schedule because you're volunteering. You can also have time to create the type of schedule where you go to the school. You can even only teach for like two hours a day if you want and then go and explore the city. But you're also meeting people within the community and able to relate and truly understand um, the community I think in in a way that is I think more authentic than if you're just coming as a tourist and people are taking you around a lot of the time when you volunteer teach and people see that you're like really invested as a teacher and you're doing something that's you know beautiful with the students they'll usually try to offer you eventually a paid position later um, so if you know obviously being abroad you know you need compensation but if it's just for a short period of time during the summer and you're a teacher who already has a salary um, I'm not sure that that should be so much of an issue um, but if it is because I know a lot of teacher salaries are not very high um, yeah there's always programs too that are paid as well so you don't necessarily have to take the volunteer route um, for me it was just nice because it gave me the flexibility initially to kind of have that teaching and exploration period until I kind of got used to it and then I uh, proposed something new um, for you know after they were able to see your skills and how you relate to the students and what you can offer to the school then you can um, get into a, a discussion about compensation and a formal contract um, and I, I just find that like when you take those steps people just find it more genuine because they were like okay well they were willing to volunteer so obviously they want to do good things and so we want to keep this person with us granted i fully respect that some people just want to go on vacation be on the beach you know like just do their own thing as a tourist but if you know you're really invested in trying to better understand what your role as a teacher can be and even exploring new ways of ways you can be a teacher even abroad i think summer programs are really great because sometimes it can be really scary to take the first step and i think that the summer programs enable you to have like a condensed period of time like a month where you can try out something out get that international experience and see if it's something that you like and then you can plan for something for a longer period of time after you feel like you've dabbled a little bit in 
um, in something shorter. So for example, like all these summer programs that I did um, when I was still like in university or doing graduate programs and stuff, I would just do them over the summer because I love traveling, but I also kind of wanted to see if it was like possible for me to live in other countries as well. And so I would do it kind of on the side and then after like having worked in certain schools and realizing that the traditional school system was not for me, I eventually decided to just move abroad. And right now I'm living in Morocco and it's just amazing. Even though now I'm not teaching in, um, in a school specifically anymore, I'm still tutoring a lot of English students. It's just very meaningful because I'm able to understand about teaching and education in a much more deep way than I if I'm just limited to one space. Whether you're a teacher in the traditional school system and you just want to do a summer program or if you know you're not a teacher and you just want to start teaching over the summer, I think there there's so many possibilities and I just want to say that, you know, um, so many people told me in the beginning that, you know, if I want to be a teacher, I have to go a very traditional route that you have to be a teacher in a school. You have to work from the hours of like seven in the morning to six o'clock at night and that there's no kind of like flexibility within that. And really the purpose of this channel is that I just I reject that whole notion. And I think that there are ways that you can really create a space for the type of teacher that you want to be where you don't feel burnt out and where you feel like you're like your teaching practice is exploration in, and is adventure. I think like we associate traveling, it's like, okay, I have to work really, really hard and then I can travel and have a vacation. But what if you could combine those two in the same time? As American teachers, we can then come back to the US and really decide how we want to borrow different elements of other international systems that may be preferable to, um, to the system that we have and really kind of create a combination where you can start to fill the gaps in what you feel like your school administration is not doing or maybe get ideas from other systems that you feel like maybe are doing better in certain areas or maybe they're doing worse in certain areas and kind of creating a mix of the way that you can best serve your students so i just think it's all about awareness and it's really about exploration and really being dedicated to like education as something that isn't is in the international scope.